Hello wall, so today Hold on a sec. Someone at the door. Hmm. Well I guess there's nothing to worry. <laughs> So today we're looking at the history of the laughing cow and I'm terrified of that thing, I am not going to lie, that thing haunts my nightmares and it will continue to because of this bloody video, oh my <laughs> In 1865, a 24-year-old named Jules Bell founded a cheese company that focused on comped cheese in his farm in Orgele, France. In 1898, his two sons, Léon and Henri, took over the father's business and eventually moved it to Lons le Seigneur for its nearby salt factory and railway. By the way, did you know that it's twin towns with Ripley in the United Kingdom? And I found this out, their parliamentary constituency just so happens to be Mole Valley. Mole Valley, that doesn't sound like a real name, Mole Valley. <laughs> Why would it be called Mo Valley? <laughs> Is there a street called Street Lane, you know? It's like... Oh. During the Great War, Leon was drafted to the Logistics Corps of the French Army. His unit started to draw funny images of animals to distinct which item was which. His commanding officer eventually asked cartoonist Benjamin Rabier, who is known for making Gideon the Duck, if any of you guys know that, and he inspired many artists, especially Herge, who obviously created Tintin. The soldiers loved the cow, and it was eventually dubbed the Laughing Cow. However, one soldier actually named it the Rackery, a play on the Valkyrie. Yes, the opera, you know, the... <laughs> After Leon got demobilised from the army, he started learning how to make more processed cheese from Swiss farmers. The company packaged their cheese in triangular, triangular shapes with an iron box to store them in. However, this was quickly replaced with cardboard packaging, which is still used. By 1921, Leon decided to take inspiration from his army years and use the laughing cow as a mascot for his processed cheese. In 1923, he eventually asked Ravier to edit the original drawing of the laughing cow. So he made the cow have a close-up. And Leon's wife actually asked to add earrings to the cow to make it a bit more feminine to spread to the masses. And the cow was actually more redder because of the printer. There was a problem with the printer. And well, that's how the brand The Laughing Cow was born. And obviously the Laughing Cow has become a sensation throughout Europe and eventually made its way around the globe with its creamy, delicious taste. So the current logo that is being used for the Laughing Cow came from the 1970s and it's basically remained untouched throughout that time. I'm going to be honest, it's still a bit creepy, especially in CGI. Roll the clip. Real tasty cheese, and that is how it's done. <laughs> When she knows it tastes just great It's time to celebrate It's creamy and tasty and made with laughter Look, no matter how creepy the cow is, we can never escape it. Hello all, thank you all so much for watching this video. It was very interesting to learn about this weird logo company, but they make good cheese. I, I, I can't lie, their cheese is really good. So if you're ever at the shop trying to buy some cheese, might I recommend the cow staring at you. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day. Press all the buttons down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.